The ECOWAS Parliament Joint Committee on Administration, Finance and Budget, Microeconomic Policy and Economic Research, Trade, Customs and Free Movement has recommended further studies to better understand the implications of cryptocurrency on regional economies. Where necessary, the Joint Committee wants a legal and regulatory framework for regulating the use of cryptocurrency. Moyo Thomas reports. Experts describe cryptocurrency as a digital currency that serves as an investment tool that can act as a check against high inflation, which is a serious challenge in West African region. These experts are of the opinion that the community can derive advantages from the adoption and recognition of cryptocurrency. There's one universal immutable currency. Once entered as input into life's blockchain, you can never get it back. It is called time. We are running out of time against civil unrest, sickening economies, and a growing unemployment rate. This helps to participate in the promotion of financial inclusion. Uh, governments are trying to promote uh, financial inclusion, uh, but we can see that the normal uh, financial transactions are not reaching uh, those who are excluded. Their submissions have generated much debate, and while some are concerned over the disadvantages, some others want the region to be open to such options. Years ago, we didn't have uh, visa cards. Today we have visa cards and uh, it's good for us to, to, to entertain the thought that this is going to grow. The next thing is that um, we should be assessing our readiness as, as a region. In terms of our decision making centers and our leaders, uh, this is uh, a currency that is going to enlarge its base and that is going to mobilize large sums of money and is going to have an influence on our economies. The major concern expressed over the disadvantages are that it portends great danger for the region, especially on terrorism financing. In 2020, government agencies around the world uncovered investigated and prosecuted more terrorism financing schemes involving cryptocurrencies than ever before. The most notable example came in August when the United States Department of Justice announced the largest ever seizure of cryptocurrency from a terrorist group. As the arguments go back and forth, most of the parliamentarians concede that in the face of infrastructural deficits and other developmental challenges facing the region, the time may not be right for its operations. With the level of skepticism expressed by members of the ECOWAS parliament over the adoption of cryptocurrency, the region may need to wait a little longer to adopt this virtual money for business transactions. Moya Thomas, TVC News, Wagadugu.